Today we're going to make a succulent planter. To build this project I used a 4x4, a dowel, some polyacrylic finish, a 2 inch diameter drill bit, an extra long drill bit, I got three succulents from the garden section at Home Depot, a circular saw, an orbital sander, and a cordless drill. I started by cutting a 14 inch long section of 4x4 with my circular saw. A 4x4 is thick so you have to make two passes to cut all the way through. A compound miter saw makes it a little bit easier if you have one. Now I'm going to use a large diameter Forstner drill bit to drill the holes. Drilling holes this big can put a lot of torque on the drill and your hands and wrists, so I made sure to clamp down the 4x4 to my work surface. I drilled three evenly spaced holes that are two and a half inches deep. I then flipped the 4x4 on its end and used my extra long drill bit, quarter inch in diameter, to drill drainage holes all the way through the three other holes. I sanded the wood down with my orbital sander until it was all smooth. I used polyacrylic from Minwax to seal the wood. This will make it waterproof so that the wood doesn't absorb water away from the soil and plants. I then carved down a 5 16th diameter dowel to make a plug for the planter. Once the acrylic had dried, I tested to see how waterproof it was, and the plug held the water in just fine. Now this planter was meant to be wall mounted, so I screwed two L brackets into the wall and then put the planter right on top of them. This is a really easy project and it's also a great thing to make as a gift. This planter came out great, but I wanted to try something a little bit different for the next one and I was thinking about something a little bit more faceted and geometric. So I made some angle cuts to create three more pieces of 4x4 and then sanded them at an angle with my orbital sander to create a faceted look. I really like these ones, this is much more my style. I wanted to try and wall mount these faceted ones too, so I used my Phoneworks level to shoot a laser line on the wall to help me out. For more detailed instructions, check out my website, and if you want to see what I'm working on next, be sure to follow me on social media. And if you want to post some of your own projects and be eligible to win the tools that I use in my projects, be sure to sign up for Ryobi Nation. And be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already.